Welcome to Brunswick Now on ATMC TV. I'm Jennifer Beasley and I'll be filling in for Megan Reeves this month. This month we'll meet with Linda Geronda and Linda Perry from Smart Start of Brunswick County. They'll share the purpose of their organization and ways they help young children get a jump start on education. Then we'll meet with Ruthie McHugh and Dave Gongora with Brunswick County Parks and Rec. They'll be talking about the Parks and Rec spring fitness schedule and programs. And finally, we'll have a one-on-one -on -one interview with Chad McCumby, a rising star racer with his roots right here in Brunswick County. Don't touch that dial. Stay with us for the next half hour as we bring you Brunswick Now. Welcome to Brunswick Now, ATMC TV, Channel 3, bringing you the best of Brunswick. Joining us now is Linda Geronda and Linda Perry with Smart Start of Brunswick County. Welcome to the show, ladies. Good morning. Um, thank you for being here. Now, Linda, could you tell us a little bit about Smart Start of Brunswick County, what it is? Well, we're a local nonprofit, mm -hmm. and our mission is to ensure that children are ready for school. Okay. We work throughout the county with lots of different organizations to make sure children will succeed before they get to school and after they get to school as well. Okay, and now Smart Start of Brunswick County, Smart Start a national organization? Actually, Smart Start is a North Carolina organization, and there are local partnerships throughout the state of North Carolina uh, working to improve um, the well being of all children to ensure that all of our children will succeed and be um, healthy and happy and ready for school. All right, and now you're the executive director, is that right? Yes. What do you do on a daily basis with Smart Start of Brunswick County? Well, we have an office here in Chalote, and we have some administrative staff, not too much, myself and a, a financial um, director. And then we have some in-house programs that um, work with uh, the schools work with the health department and work with families throughout the county and they're housed in, in our office in Chalote. Many of the um, program people are out on the road such as Linda Perry with their parents as teachers and um, we have a number of different types of programs. We have a child care resource and referral that works with the child care providers and works with parents. Uh, we do a lot of education at our office. We have a training area and I work uh, for uh, actually a board of directors. We okay. have um, a very active board with very dedicated volunteers um, that meet um, every other month. There okay. are 15 board members right now. Oh, wow. Now, Linda, um, Linda said that you were on the road a lot. Now, what, what is your title at Brunswick County? What do you do on a daily basis? I um, oversee a program called Parents as Teachers. Mm -hmm. um, Parents as Teachers is a national program but our funding comes through the state and through Smart Start. We serve uh, prenatal moms that are prenatal up to five years of age that have uh, children in that age bracket. Um, and our program is that we go to the, the families, we go to their home. And it's an evidence-based program, so there's a curriculum that we follow. We see families a minimum of twice a month, um, some of the uh, parents like a first-time mom that might have a baby we're going to see her every week mm -hmm. um, until we feel until she's comfortable and we've built a relationship mm -hmm. and there is a specific curriculum that we're following and we're giving her information about brain development and activities that go that parallel the age of the child um, brain development you know, there's so much new research coming out right now Absolutely. and 90% of a child's brain is uh, growing by the time they're three years of age. With us now is Ruthie McHugh and Dave Gongor with Brunswick County Parks and Rec. Welcome to the show, guys. Thanks for having us. Thanks for being here. Mm -hmm. um, now, we know what Brunswick County Parks and Rec is. You handle the Parks Department and Recreation, but you guys do some other things. Ruthie, what do you do at Brunswick County Parks I'm and Rec? I'm the fitness coordinator for Brunswick County Parks and Recreation, and I do different types of programs for our, our residents of Brunswick County, and I also do our corporate wellness for the employees of the county government. Oh, okay, great. Mm -hmm. And then Dave, you are? I, I'm the tennis instructor at one of the sites of Brunswick County. We have many sites, and I'm just one of them, and uh, that's what I do. All right, great. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Ruthie, can you talk about some of the programs that you guys have coming up in, well, in 2012? Sure. Uh, we have a lot of them coming up. Actually, we have about 25 programs starting. Well, they started just uh, last week. Dave's program, Tennis, is one of them as well. 
Um, we'll have swim lessons coming up around March and April. Uh, we have group exercise out at Lockwood Folly. Uh, we also have uh, water aerobics over at the Winds Beach Resort. Um, we have Weight Wise, actually. It's a weight loss program for women, and that's going to start tonight. And um, we have Zumba out in Chalote, and we're trying to expand throughout the county to have different types of cooperative partnerships to be able to uh, have more opportunities for the county, county employees and the county residents to be able to go out and be fit. Now, I'm, I know, because I'm always on your website looking at all the different classes that you guys offer, and really there's no excuse for someone not to be involved with something. You guys have stuff in Leland, down in Shalot, just really all over the community. Mm -hmm. We're very affordable as well, and um, we do expand across the whole entire area of Brunswick County, and we have a new location with Shape Up up in Leland in the Waterford Plaza, and we have uh, Iron Yoga on Saturdays. They also do Zumba there, and we have uh, a, a kids program that's an after-school program that the girls over at Shape Up are helping us out with. That's great. Mm -hmm. Now, um, so you have every you have things for um, people who are older, some mm -hmm. who are younger kids, and you do now with tennis. You do a lot of youth tennis, adult yes. tennis, and all that kind of stuff. Yes. Tell me about um, some of the the classes or courses that you that you do with tennis. Well, our classes range from a uh, four-year-old till a hundred and four-year-old. Mm -hmm. You know, at, it's at different times. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, two days a week right now, and uh, we're also trying to bring in uh, more of a, a new program that's uh, international called uh, Quick Start or Ten and Under, and it's uh, age and size specific, you know, smaller rackets, smaller nets, foam balls, and things like that, and uh, it's a new way how to teach, and it brings out more of a population in, onto the tennis court, and it's, it's more about uh, fun and uh, uh, as for, and we also are trying to bring in uh, more of cardio tennis, which is for those that uh, like to sweat. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's a it's a it's a workout. It's a group fitness uh, program, um, and it, it involves a lot of movement and things like that. So, that normally yeah. is a program that we do in the wintertime to, to help out with keeping them still active and right. in the game, so right. to speak, through the wintertime when it's too cold to be outside to play. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. It's kind of hard to get motivated in the wintertime, mm -hmm. too, especially if most of the workouts that you do are outside. Yeah. So now with tennis, do you do individual lessons? Do you do group lessons? We do. Or? We do uh, individual, and um, we also do semi-private, and we do group and large group. So uh, we cover it all the bases of uh, uh, numbers on the court. So, and um, it seems to work great that way. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. And he's one of three. We actually have two more instructors. And okay. so Dave's over at Ocean Isle Beach Park, and then we have another over at Lockwood Folly Park, and then um, we have a, a new instructor that's out in Southport at the Smithville. Um, Park, and we're trying to expand farther up into the Leland area because mm -hmm. we do have uh, tennis courts over at Town Creek and uh, the park at uh, Northwest, Northwest District Park. Okay, wonderful. So you guys are kind of growing the, mm -hmm. the tennis instruction. Mm -hmm. That's great. And now you're certified as a tennis instructor, is that right? Yes. I mean, I'm celebrating uh, this year 21 years of professional cert uh, tennis. Great. You're a pro, okay. <laughs> Bragging a little bit. Um, well, let's switch gears. I kind of want to talk about you guys are doing something called the Lucky Leprechaun it 5K. Is, yes. yes, this is Tell our first about 5K. That. Um, actually, I had mentioned that I do employee wellness programs, and this is our uh, kickoff for 2012, and it's called the Resolution Race. Mm -hmm. And the Resolution Race is for our wellness, um, our employee wellness, so that employees can sign up and get ready for the 5K. So it's a gradual, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, it's a gradual progression where they do time increment walking, walking, or jogging each week to get them ready for the 5K. And then at the end of this um, program, we'll have the 5K, and it's going to be the Lucky Leprechaun. Okay. It's the week before St. Patrick's Day. Okay. So we, and, and it's going to be it's going to be awesome. It's going to start over at um, 310 East First Street, which is the Winds uh, Beach Resort. And we'll start there, and it'll be a loop, and it'll go up, and then it'll come back down second, and then we'll end up again in front of the winds. Mm -hmm. And um, the walk, the runners will go out at 9 o'clock. 9.15 will be the, the walking part of it. Mm -hmm. 
and those that are walking are encouraged to bring their canine companions so that they can walk with them. And we're also encouraging everybody to dress up in their Irish garb. So, oh, how fun! Yeah, it's gonna how be fun. fun! I'm pretty excited about it. Joining us now is Chad McCumby, a rising star racer from right here in Brunswick County. Welcome to the show, Chad. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we're excited to have you. I know we've been trying to pin you down for a while to get yeah. you on the show. So we're glad to have you. Um, and it's especially exciting since you're from here in Brunswick County, um, kind of putting us on the map, which we appreciate. All right. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. How did you get into racing? It, it, it was right here in Brunswick County um, when the Schlope Point Speedway opened up uh, in Schlope Point there as a little dirt oval for go-kart racing and uh, my, my dad was a racer mm -hmm. and, and when that opened up we kind of got back into it and he raced for a couple years and and then he seen that I had the interest so we got a cart went to Schlope Point and I was 10 years old at that time and uh, it's just kind of snowballed ever since then you know. Yeah that's great um, so it's always kind of been an interest of yours since you were young mm -hmm. Um, when was what was the first race you ever raced? So you were ten, you said. Yeah, ten years old, and it was at Schlope Point. Um, I, don't, I don't remember a whole lot about that first race, and I know my second race I remember more because I I was able to qualify first and then do really good. But I don't remember much about that first weekend. Um, I know I was probably really nervous, and I know I, when my dad would go to the racetrack and race himself, I was always watching, mm -hmm. you know, my little class of the kids, you know, and trying to okay, this is what I got to do here, and this is what I got to do here, but. Um, now it's, uh, you know, heck, I, I even went to a go-kart race, you know, this past New Year's just to, just to kind of rekindle that, mm -hmm. that, that old memory when it was so fun. But, you know, it's, it's been a, it's been a long path since then, but it's been a great ride. Wonderful. Now, what, um, when did you get into the big cars? Um, I think probably really 2005 was my first full-time year. Mm -hmm. I, I guess I could say I, I went prof and did it professionally. Okay. Um, I ran a race in 04. I moved to, I went, when I graduated West Brunswick in mm -hmm. 2002, I went to UNC Charlotte and I, I, was, I was stuck between the decision, well, would I go to NC State or to UNCC? And with the racing world, I, I had to go to Charlotte because that's where you've got to be. And um, I went and did the mechanical engineering thing there and I, I was able to go to a driving school, the um, fast track driving school, which Andy Hillenberg owns. Um, he also owns an ARCA race series team. And through the course of that, you know, I did the story deal where you, you hear the guys that go and, and mow the grass and clean the bathrooms and wash the cars. I, I literally did all that and it worked. And, mm -hmm. and Andy gave me a chance in 2005 full time. That's fabulous. <laughs> That's like the best story ever. Right. So, um, so you said you're in Charlotte now, is that mm -hmm. right? And that is the place to be. I mean, you guys have that giant speedway there. And you said, you know, you can open the door to your, to your house, back door mm -hmm. to your house. You can hear the, the, the cars going by and everything. Absolutely. Um, now, I mean, you've been in the paper, the Brunswick County <laughs> paper here, quite a bit, I have to say. Um, and I guess you've, you've won some races. Mm -hmm. Tell me about some of the ones that you've won. Yeah, you know, the Brunswick Beacon does a great job. Michael Paul and them guys over there um, in the sports department, they really, uh, really, really help us keep the, the local news going, and, and they do a great job. But, but yeah, I was able to win a race this past season, 2011. Mm -hmm. um, I ran the ARC Racing Series again full-time this past year uh, for Andy Belmont Racing and, and Mod Space Motorsports, and we were able to win a dirt track, which... which you know the the stock cars that I run now are just is, in the Arca series is just like the NASCAR cars, but the Arca series they do a bunch of really different things with them. So mm -hmm. we actually race on dirt with those big, heavy, high horsepower stock cars. Wow. So um, it necessarily, I mean, even though I race go karts on dirt, cars on dirt are way different. And okay. um, so I really didn't expect to do that well, and we end up winning that race. Um, we end up running really good at a road course race. Um, this past year in ARCA and I never did a road course before and that's kind of led into some more stuff. Um, so it was a it was a great season. Yeah. What um, what does your training look like for doing all that kind of stuff? Um, you know, um, th there's a lot as as over the last probably two or three years things have really changed where you know that the drivers really need to be involved with their sponsors and with their marketing partners because we've got to do so much more um, to make sure that we're, we're doing the best we can do for our partners mm -hmm. and doing everything we can do on and off the racetrack mm -hmm. to make sure they're getting their value.